feel very inadequate to be talking about this movie, considering Brazil is Chelsea's favorite place in the world and she speaks Portuguese and she's obsessed with Brazil and anything Brazilian and Rio, but Finders Keepers, the art of Rio and Rio 2 is mine. <laughs> and today I'm bringing you another fabulous art book review. This time it's The Art of Rio. And actually the full title of this book is The Art of Blue Sky Studios Rio, featuring a carnival of art from Rio and Rio 2. And I think this is actually a pretty smart move because we weren't graced with an art book for the first movie, and the second movie basically is in the same setting more or less with the same characters as the first movie, so it made sense for them to kind of Let's just bring that first movie art in here and some from the second movie and just smush it together for one big art book. And I actually think this works really, really well. At first I was like, eh, I don't know, but it didn't seem too contrasting in my opinion. Um, the majority of this book is focused on the characters and so there's a lot of development on the characters from the first movie, which they spent a lot of time digging into. And then, you know, we're added to some new characters. So the book is divided into two main sections. About 100 pages are dedicated to the characters, and another 100 pages are dedicated to the locations and the architecture and the world of Rio. Very, very cool. And I just, I love the way that this book was set up because the characters, the birds, the macaws, they are so integral to this movie that I'm really glad they were able to spend a lot of time developing these characters and showing them to us. So I was a little nervous because many times in art books, especially art books about movies that were made a while ago, they don't show us all of the conception art and maybe the character designs that were discarded. But this book does a really, really good job of including those. For example, here is a page about blue. And as you can see, blue doesn't quite look like blue. You know, there's all these different versions of what he looks like at this point, right here, right here. And you know, now he's starting to look like what we know. And then, oh, that's the blue I recognize. And I, I liked that, you know, they showed us the, the development of the character. And this book actually gives us a, a big variety of different types of art. It's not just final character art and, and final renderings, final poses. We get a lot of expressions, we get a lot of maquettes, we get a lot of color schemes, everything. And they actually spend a lot of time on each character. This movie is filled with a lot of characters and a lot of birds, and it could get old, but it doesn't because they don't just give you two pages of a character and move on. They give you like six to eight pages of a character and then move on. And so you really get to explore what this character looked like rather than, ooh, I'm really interested. Oh, we're moving on. Okay. They don't do that, which is great. One page in the character section that I thought was pretty neat was the feathers page. Obviously, the majority of these characters in this movie are birds, so getting the feathers right was pretty important. And so they include all these different, you know, designs and exploration about feathers, how they work, how they, how they move. Another cool page is this one about birds. So we talk about feathers and then we just talk about general birds in the world. And so they give us a lot of different look at these birds. And I thought, just thought this page was just so neat. Um, they give us variations of a different one type of bird. And, you know, these are 50 different variations of us looking at it. And then they just break down the world of birds in Rio by color, um, by type and variation. So here's these different macaws. Here's a red one, a yellow one, green. Uh, and you know, you could just sit and look at this and think, wow, I would have loved to have been in their story sessions and in their design sessions just to see, you know, their process of going through and choosing what the birds ultimately looked like. The next section is called locations and this focuses on all the locations that we see in the Rio films and even even locations that we don't spend a lot of time at like Moose Lake Village which is where Blue originally is from. Well he's not originally from there but that's where he grows up with Linda and so you know this is a very icy town very different than Rio and I like the compare and contrast between you know snowy <laughs> Moose Lake and uh, eventually when we get to the colorful, wide, maybe, maybe we'll get there, maybe not, um, <laughs> the wide world of Rio. In the locations section, basically anywhere where there was a scene, we explore it. Well, even if we were just there for a few minutes, a few seconds, they really do a good job of showing us, hey, you know, even though this, this is only in the movie for a few minutes or seconds, we still spend a lot of time designing it and we want to show you that. 
And so I liked that because I can really go through each of the movies. And, and like I said, even though these are from two different movies, because they're set in the same world, it flows very nicely. Um, obviously, if you haven't seen Rio 2, you might want to avoid certain sections of this book. For example, I hadn't seen it, so I made sure just to kind of breeze over some of the, the Rio 2 main settings and locations and scenes and plot points. Um, but still, it was so pretty to look at. One part in this location section that they put in, which I, I love when they do this, is graphics. So, for example, in the city of Rio, in Rio de Janeiro, there's a lot of graffiti on the walls, there's a lot of posters and banners, and, you know, someone had to create those at Blue Sky Studios, and so they, they include those here, and it's just really cool to see how much effort went into it, and just, I'm like, ah, can I get these? Can I print these out as a poster? Because they're awesome, and I would love to have these on my wall. It just adds even more variety to this book, which just makes it a visual delight. And lastly, before the end of the book, we get a a little welcome sequence. So this is in Rio 2 when the birds um, make it into the Amazon and they realize, wow, we're not the only birds after all. So it breaks down the scene. Um, we get to see the color scripts for it and whatnot. And so that's really fun. I love when they do that, when they give us a chance to dive deep into a certain sequence of the movie. You know, this whole book is diving deep into the movie, but it just gives even more of a pinpoint precision and to understand the making of a scene. The art of Rio. Wow. Brazil on its own is such a beautiful, vibrant, colorful, fun country. So having a movie that's completely dedicated to that and explores that is really awesome. The director is actually from Brazil and that's one thing that he wanted to encapsulate is this feeling of being Brazilian and how it's a state of mind. And so in that he talks about how he was able to infuse that into his crew and they are our sort of honorary um, Brazilians in his mind because of all the work that they did on this. So be sure to read those introductions. And obviously all the text in this book is wonderful. Definitely read it because a lot of time and effort was put into it. And you know, even though it is really visually and easy just to look at the pictures, you get so much more when you read the actual text. I would buy The Art of Rio. It's a big win, the fact that they combined the art of the first movie and the second movie. It's seamless. You don't even notice that, you know, now we're talking about the second movie. They just really did a great job. Um, 200 pages. You gotta own it. I'm like really high on this book. So buy The Art of Rio. It's great. And if you're going to buy it, why not use our Amazon affiliate link below? That way, whenever you buy something using that link, we get a little bit of credit and it helps us buy more of these books and DVDs and whatever so we can review them for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching my review. Let me know in the comments below, are you going to buy The Art of Rio? And if so, what are you most looking forward to exploring in the book? Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more art book reviews. And until next time, I'm Morgan, and you're watching the Rotoscopers YouTube.